Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to this let's play of Victoria 2 as Russia. Here we are sailing along. Getting discredited by the UK at every single turn. And we're exporting timber, lumber and cattle at the moment. Okay, socialist realism, yay, more prestige. You are definitely the most prestigious nation. By quite the margin. We are behind Russia, uh, not Russia, behind the United Kingdom. In uh, industrial score and in military score, I believe. Eventually. We'll get there. Wait, Sikkim? Oh, one of these small Indian ones. There we go. We're gaining more cores. Yay for that. How is our uh, project towards uh, your accreditation? Oh, it's 75% there. It's slow going, but they are actually increasing. That's almost done. 28, you're pretty far behind. What about Tajikistan? 0.96, you're almost there. I really would like to finish off Kakan, but... Attend the third Olympic Games. Yes, of course we'll attend. List is unemployed. Um, let's do the last one. Upper house rearranged again. Fascists are now a thing. Uh, Socialists lost a bit of power. Yeah, they all leaked off into the new fascists. That's the new craze. Everybody wants to be fascist. Literacy rate, 97.1%. Pretty darn good. Russians know how to read good. Uh, France still wants that alliance. No, I do not want to be part of that. Uh, we have enough influence to do things again. So let's do that. Let's go quickly through the list. Who likes us? Who doesn't? Yes, I am improving relations with Poland. Just to see if I can steal them from... from Germany's influence. The Ottomans are now suddenly not in any sphere at all. It's gonna change. Are there any nations that we could benefit from spearing? At this point. We mean we have speared well, speared. Speared quite a few countries. Ooh, Japan has gone for Oman and Nade. Okay. Some choices. Don't think it's good. we're gonna need too many of those experience. To be honest, more cores, always, always nice. I could probably stand to increase my army a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have fielded 284 out of 654 possible brigades. Yeah. Um, we have uh, a rally point. Simferopol. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's recruit a couple of regiments, like two more at least. That's 8 infantry, 6 artillery, and 2 of the others. Oh yeah, come to think of it, we have the new... No, we don't have the new divisions yet. Aeronautics. 
Well then, I guess we're just gonna go with standard army. Northern Africa. Northern Asia. I'm gonna go with Europe then. Also, one, two, three. Eight of you. Six of you. Two there. Yeah, I should be more careful because we really want to build them of our own culture. Or accepted cultures. Because you have seen that we keep getting those events for regiments that are not of our culture. Still. And what do you know? We got the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Woohoo! 13 prestige, I'll take that. Militancy, it's going up. How long until the next uh, reform? Thirty-three percent there. Politicals, thirty-one percent. Yeah, you're not uh, quite mad enough yet to do anything. Yeah, that definitely increased our tax income. Yum, 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 yum. But it is time to get some army tax. And we can cut back to, I don't know, two percent maybe. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, nationalist officers. Jewish uh, consciousness. No, just give them some militancy. That's fine. Hey, Poland. Poland can be. Influenced. Let's do that. There are some war wars going on. I think. No? Okay. Let's see. Extra tax efficiency. I'll take that. International crises. Uh, call ally. What did you just... What just happened? Let's see, show wars. Serb liberation of Slavonia. Do you have a course here? You do. Um, oh my. Serbia actually has... Okay, so Serbia basically has all the Yugoslavian cores. Huh. And of course they decided that I should be brought in and fight for them. Because there's no way in hell he's going to win that one on his own. So he's dependent on me to win that battle. I should know better than to ally these guys. They... yeah. And to make matters worse... Uh... No, we're not going to back you in a crisis. Yeah, the problem isn't Austria-Hungary, I think. I could... I had no problem going to war with Austria-Hungary. The problem is going to war with France. That's not something I want to do. Not that I think France can really cause... Actually, they can cause a problem right now, because we're build, building, building up our fleet, so... <laughs> All the ships are gonna move around here and be sunk. 
Excellent timing, Serbia. So, um, screw you. Ooh, Antarctica next. Yes, by all means. Yeah, we can increase relations with Cuba. So, have fun, Serbia. That's gonna be fun for you. I know you... Yeah, don't start a war unless you know that I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> intervene. That's one of the things that is kind of annoying with this, uh, this whole system. That you cannot talk to your allies before declaring a war. Will you support us? Yes, no. You have to actually do the declaration and then see if they want to come and uh, do anything. And that is kind of, yeah, dumb. Uh, factory works in Kazan. Yeah, these two factories are, all, factories are almost done. I don't think I'm gonna that um, Tsar of all Slavs thing. I'm not sure if I have to do anything else in this region to actually trigger anything. Mm, I don't recall. I don't think I've... I do think I scrambled through the game files to find anything, but I don't think I did. Maybe I didn't look good enough. Didn't look well. <laughs> Uh, words. Yeah, did, maybe I didn't look sufficiently. Maybe I didn't investigate sufficiently. Oh, San Francisco earthquake. Oh dear. So sad. Okay, these guys are pretty much getting a job right now. Oh, this factory is struggling. Well, that's sad. And they are being subsidized, though. How much are we paying in subsidies now, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're the first to get avant-garde art as well. Yummy prestige. Okay, pause for a second. I forget again. I wanted to check subsidies. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Have you built so many factories that are not making money again? Why must you make all these factories that don't, don't make money? Why must you insist on doing that? Why must you insist on that, Arg? Uh, okay, um... Council subsidies for everybody. And uh, let's... Let's go through another one of the bust cycles. I can't afford to support unprofitable factories, not like this. Regional trade fair. Yeah, why not? Pay a bit of money, I lose prestige, I'll pay that money. Forward. Um, Yeah, sure, let them be socialists, that's fine by me. Go figure, you want peace. Or... <laughs> I 
I'm not sure I want to ally you, my friend. Not if you're going to try to drag me into a war with other people. Come to think of it, you did lose more land. I don't think you did. But no, I don't ally powers that drag me into wars. I'll happily, happily defend you, but I will not go into, into an offensive war. At the very least, not while I'm building a fleet. Mmm, prestige. I said no. Uh, am I getting a, a relationship whenever I... Yes, of course I'm getting a relationship. Relationship hit, hit whenever I say no. So, he really dislikes me now. Ah, uh, regiment. Now I'm making a lot more money. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Canned food is definitely not the industry to be in right now. Okay, sort by name, we'll have to go through the list and basically... Close down factories for good. This is a cornerstone factory, though. Uh, this isn't, and the other one is making money. I'm going to tear that down and increase the other one. Close. Close. Uh, you do have a slight worker shortage. But I think we're just going to open the factories that do make a buck here. Hmm. This one's a bit tougher. I guess we're gonna close it. Hopefully this factory can survive, we'll see. You, yeah, close that can, good factory. The other one is upgrading. Upgrade that one as well. Tear it down. Oh, that's the only factory you had up in North Siberia. Uh, that's fine, you're gonna have no factories at all then. You can migrate somewhere else where there actually are profitable factories. Karelia, same thing. This actually has a working fertilizer factory. Increase it. You could probably use a boost here as well. Now, I'm not going in and increasing the most profitable factories, as I probably should. I'm just trying to make sure that there are enough jobs for the various uh, states. And I'm going to trust the capitalists to just fill in the blanks here. I just want some of the factories to have at least. Uh. Wait, do I have empty states? No. don't think I do. <sighs> this one, though. Uh, tear it down in favor of... Yeah. Tear it down. Then we're going to wait a little while longer for all the factories to rebalance themselves. Yeah, I know there are lots and lots and lots of unemployed people. But there are, there are vacant factories and all the places. You just have to move. Or you can sit and wait for the factories to open. A lot of the lumber mills are closing down because there simply isn't a market for all of it. I 
And even though that's put us further, further away from industrial score, it's gonna be healthier in the long run. Yeah, tear that down. Sakharin's clothing factory turn. Now that's worse. Since it's your only factory. Uh, yeah. Well, the other ones here are upgrading. So you can do without those two. Same in Rostov. Yeah. Um, you take what? You take... You would actually like to have that lumber mill, so... Cancel that. I'm gonna open it just to see if I can reinforce this guy into the furniture factory. A few others actually close down, maybe. Yeah, this one. That one. Uh, yeah, close it. Fabric. Well, you do have a clothing factory, so this would actually be beneficial if we could. If it would actually run. You don't have dyes in this province. But you don't have enough workers for, to go around anyway. Ah, tear it down. Uh, you're gonna get the liquor factory. So away that goes. Okay, now we're gonna sort you by unemployment to verify that we are. We need upgrading, profitable factories at the very least. We can increase this one by one, just to see if it can turn a profit by being larger. It might. Uh, yeah, tear down that one as well. There are still factories that are closed, huh? Yeah, the Sakhalin, you are gonna reopen. And that one I'm gonna tear down. Mm. Yeah, increase these two. Okay. And we select all factories and we re engage subsidies. And we'll see just how much that ends up being. So I'm getting an occupation message for Yongtsu, which is incorrect. Not sure. But yeah, they're certainly going through. Some fun times with rebels. Uh, okay, fine. Let's be a friend then, Serbia. But if you declare war, expect to be on your own. Hey, what do you know? We can now create a state in Congo. So let's do that. Go. And we no longer need to encourage the bureaucrats here. Because this is now a state. So now we have to go and find somewhere else that is, well, relatively close to becoming uh, a state. Or Angola, now 0 0.04. So basically, we are kind of pushing for 0.29. Uh, point zero 0.01 in this area. 
Ah, region map. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, No one there. Point twenty two there. If I recall correctly, these over here are more populous. And that would be good in terms of factories. That's why I'm looking at trying to find somewhere. Point twenty two. If that's gonna be our best, that's gonna Sucky. It sort of depends on where our uh, pops have uh, migrated. Point thirty two, that's pretty high. All things considered. Thirty six, that's even better. So it's point thirty six that's to beat right now, point thirty three and it's close. If only I could see this some in some easy manner. Point fifty. Okay, that's this one, okay. So it's halfway there already. That's probably because they are sparsely populated and then it doesn't take too much uh, too much influx to have an impact 12 there point two I believe we've already secured all of uh, the Russian mainland, so... No, it looks like that little chunk of Central Africa here is where we want to go and send that little uh, bureaucrat encourager. There we go. making good money now, but that's going to go down as we pay more and more in subsidies. As the factories require more and more subsidies to keep going. I mean, they have to hire workers and then things become interesting. Okay, so army and CO training. Excellent. That's at least one step further. Uh, uh, let's go with the bolt action rifles next. After this, I think we'll have to go mass politics, just to get these little uh, organizing things gone. Gone, and then I need all these techs. And at some point, we'll have to catch up on navy tech. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, we'll see. We're gonna get there. We're gonna be first in everything. I hope. We are gonna need a much larger fleet. I think 228. I believe Britain has. Yeah, what does it? Britain, what is, what is your score in terms of ships? 570. So that's pretty much what keeps us back. We need big, big ships. Big ships. Uh, speaking of Navy, nothing currently being built. We are sailing in quite a few new ships, I believe. And we have the capacity for what? Not much at all, actually. We need more naval bases. So I'm going to go through the map and check that. But that will be next time. Time for a short break. Thank you for watching.